Uh, my name is Lindsay McGuire. I'm one of the staff veterinarians here at Dove Lewis, and we're here with a two-year-old uh, Bernese Mountain Dog that came in to us for this swelling on the side of her face. She was actually initially seen just for some eye swelling that did get better and then um, developed the large face swelling over the last um, about 24 to 48 hours. And when she came into us, she had a fever of 104. And because of her kind of signalment and the history of being recently out and about um, adventuring, we were concerned about an abscess. And so uh, shaved the area, um, did a little needle aspirate with a 20 gauge needle and a 3cc syringe and got some pus back. And so uh, we've now anesthetized her so that we can uh, lance this, drain it and flush it. Um, I'm anticipating quite a large pocket under here and so our current plan is to actually um, create a, enough of an opening that we can pack with a, a wet to dry bandage and do some bandage changes initially since we're assuming that there's going to be a lot of debris in there. So we'll see what we find. So we're going to start by kind of doing a routine sterile prep of the area. So she has um, a little area that looks like maybe a healed bite wound and we did aspirate initially in this region. There's also a red mark down here, I don't know if that's related. When you're looking for an area to start kind of the um, incision for drainage, you're feeling for kind of the softest. Um, most fluctuant squishy part and so this is all pretty firm down here and then it kind of softens up over kind of the top of her forehead and because that's where it looks like there may have been a wound um, that's probably where we're gonna start with our drainage okay so we've got that nice and prepped we know that this is not going to be a sterile procedure but I'm gonna put on sterile gloves anyways and then I'm also going to be ready first thing with my culturette um, to grab a culture of this fluid. Um, we want to try to narrow down what type of bacteria, even though we, we normally are successful with a broad spectrum antibiotic, uh, especially in a big dog like this, we want to make sure we pick the right antibiotic so we're not wasting the owner's money with, um, with a, an inadequate antibiotic. And so I'm just going to start with an 11 blade, just a stab incision. Um, we've gotten a lot of kind of preparation here for the abscess fluid. Unfortunately, she's going to get kind of messy from this. And we'll start with a stab incision to start drainage. It's OK, baby. So we've established some drainage. She clearly doesn't appreciate that, so we're going to give her a little more propofol here. I'm going to collect my sample um, just by inserting the kind of tip right in there. Try to open this a bit further. Um, this dog, the owner knew something was really wrong when she did not want to eat this morning, and I don't blame her. So what I want to try to do is figure out where the biggest pocket goes before I make more of an incision. Um, and so it feels like, and of course there's going to be a lot of fibrous, fibrinous tissue that um, might need to be broken down, but it doesn't really go too, well actually it does, kind of, kind of goes in every direction. So um, we will just kind of make our incision a little bigger over that area. 
Um, there are, of course, important structures. Um, there are nerves that run right along this area, so you have to be a little bit careful, but there's so much inflammation in this region and there's so much um, kind of thickened tissue that I'm not too worried with this small blade about getting deep enough to really affect anything. And then sometimes the best way to break up some of this tissue is just to use hemostats to and to bride. This is pretty extensive, so it's what we were expecting. All right, so we're gonna get some flush in there. And sometimes it takes a really long time to flush these out when the pocket is this big. You may be here for 15 or 20 minutes getting it lavaged out. And there is a, a decent amount of hemorrhage. I'm not too concerned about that. There's certainly areas um, where it's bleeding from the skin and probably some of the underlying smaller blood vessels. That's to be expected. Trying to create some better visualization into the pocket. And then also create enough space because I'm anticipating packing this with gauze um, in kind of a wet to dry format since this is kind of a big hole to leave an owner with to just manage as an open wound. And the gauze packing also allows us to kind of debride the tissue over a few days um, to promote healing from the inside out. <laughs> 